He did make the free throws, and nothing hits harder mm. than champion Kendrick Perkins. Day after a championship was crowned in Milwaukee. I want you to percolate for me and describe the performance we saw from Giannis. Ooh, look, you know I done been in a lot of finals. I done played with a lot of greats from LeBron James, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, played against Steph Curry, played against Kobe Bryant. But this was the greatest performance in, in, in a closeout game in finals history in my eyes. And it was the fashion that he done it in, right? You look at offensively, he dominated the paint. He was not going to be stopped. We saw at the start of the game, Matt, everybody looked rattled except for Giannis. He wanted this moment. And then we talked about his lack of free throw shooting, right? We, thought, we talked about his struggles from the line. He actually kept attacking the paint. He got fouled. He went to the free throw line, shot over 90%. But then his impact on the defensive side of things. He had guys looking over their shoulder. He was intimidating, imposing his will, anchoring that defense in the pick and roll coverage, shot blocking. And when he was blocking those shots, it was a message behind them, them, them blocks. It was meaningful blocks. It was don't come in here with that type stuff. So when I look at his overall performance of last night and the way that he dominated in a crucial game six at home, with knowing that he's walking up and down those halls, hallways with the champagne, knowing that the atmosphere is crazy outside, knowing that the celebration is awaiting him, and he was able to overcome that and lock in mentally, hey, Nothing but props to Giannis Antetokounmpo for how he handled this business. Yeah, because it didn't start out great for either team. They kind of, you know, was slow in the first quarter, slow in the second. They had to come back in the third. It was all Giannis to get the energy going. As for the other side of the Suns, their season comes to an end just two wins shy of their first title in franchise history. I want you to take a listen to Chris Paul and Monty Williams after the loss. I mean, it'll take, it'll take a while to process this or whatnot, but it's the same mentality. Get back to work. You know what I mean? I ain't retiring, if that's what you're asking. That's out. So, you know, back to work. I think it's going to take me a minute, you know. Um, I just don't take it for granted. It's hard to get here. And, uh, wanted it so bad, you know. It's hard to process right now. It's hard, you know. That's, that's all. Perk, we're going to get to Monty in a, in a minute because I want to talk about him. You saw how emotional he was. And I am so glad that during these finals, Monty Williams became a star and everybody could see what kind of person he is. More on him in a minute. But first, you see Chris Paul says he's coming back for his 17th season. There are those this morning that think maybe the Suns just hit lightning in a bottle for one year. But in, in your mind, how confident are you that this Suns team is legit and can actually make another run? You know what? I, I'm I'm very look. I'm very optimistic that the Suns could get back to the finals next year because the Western Conference is wide open. And what happened is when you develop a culture like the Phoenix Suns, like the Phoenix Suns, their organization like they have right now with this young core and making this run, they become eye candy. They become an attractive place to free agents that probably want to go there and play. Now you're able to see the gaps that you need to fill in. You're able to see those holes that you need to fill in. Now these young core then got that run. They got that experience. They know what it takes. They know what it takes to get to the finals. Now they know that they need that extra push to actually win the championship. So when you look at Devin Booker, you look at DeAndre Ayton, you look at Mikael Bridges, Cam Johnson, Cameron Payne, those guys are still all young haven't even hit their prime. And now they have tasted the waters. They already tested the waters. Look, this Phoenix Suns team, a couple pieces, CP3, yep. if he decides to return, yeah, they could make a run, Matt. You got a bona fide star in Devin Booker. Aiton probably needs to get a little bit more tougher come series like this. We'll talk about them throughout the offseason. But I mentioned Monty Williams a second ago. Mm -hmm. said he's never dealt with that kind of hurt as a head coach. And yet he put those emotions aside and actually addressed the Bucks, the world champion Bucks in their locker room. Take a listen. I just wanted to come and congratulate you guys as a man, as a coach. Um, you guys deserve this. 
and um, I'm, I'm thankful for the experience. You guys made me a better coach. You made us a better team. Congratulations. Giannis told our Malika Andrews that he was the one who invited Monty into the Bucks locker room because Monty wanted to address the team. Perk, we've seen so much from this head coach throughout the finals, the way he pulled DeAndre Ayton aside, the way he really stayed calm throughout the series. I don't know if we've ever seen anything like this. What did you make of Monty's address? Well, that's why, Matt, that's why he's so well-respected around the NBA. That's why he's so well-respected around the world. You know, this is who Monty is. This is nothing fake. This is, his, this is who he is as a person, as a human being. Like, if you have a conversation with Monty, he touches you. Once you develop a relationship with him, it's something that's genuine. I have a relationship with him. He texts me. He calls me when, it's, when I say something on air. Whether it's about the Phoenix Suns or him or whatever the case may be, he's going to talk to me, and he always is positive. Like, he's that guy, that friend, when you need a shoulder to lean on, you're going to call Monty Williams. And just him going into that locker room, showing that type of, you know, because him and Budenholzer have that, that Spurs uh, uh, family sure. type, you know, connection from being in San Antonio. I mean, it's just a beautiful thing to see, but there's nothing fake about this. This is who he is as a human being. Again, I would say Giannis, star one in the NBA Finals. Monty Williams, star 1A for everything they handled throughout this mm. season. And, and, and Perk, is this it for us? Are we, are we done for the, are you, for the off season? Do we hug on TV? How do we handle no, this no. goodbye? <laughs> no. No, nah, Matt, this is not a good buy. You got to understand, the draft is right around the corner, okay? The draft is right around the corner. I'm working the draft. We got free agency. Okay, Don't good. try to run from me. I ain't going all right. nowhere, all right? It's me and you, all right? <laughs> you know how we rock. Thank goodness. I was about ready to cry on television. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.